We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to do one of those videos where I say to you that this is not a review, this is me showing off some toys. And you sit there and go, well, it's just the same. He just does the same as he always does. And you'd be absolutely correct. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's not a review review. It's not something that was sent on for the purposes of a review. It's, it's, it's something that I bought second hand and um, and the story goes a little bit like this. Voyeur, Vulcan design, uh, Vulcan mods. Um, I, I always fancy trying one. Um, I mean, they've been around, the company's been around since 2016, but you know, the Squonker's been around for, was it over a year now? Um, maybe longer. And, and I always fancy trying one. And especially since um, in my Facebook group, there is a young man called Raj and and he's always posting photos of them and and it made me want one even more so I finally got around to buying one second hand and I think it was uh, 250 280 I paid second hand and and this is the one or, or similar to the one I got uh, and it was one of the the OG ones uh, the original ones um, <clears throat> which is very different or yes you'll see as we go along now, I unboxed this as I do with most things in my Facebook group. I did a live unboxing, showed it off, what I had bought. And um, whilst I got a good deal, what I considered a good deal, and uh, I was happy with my purchase, it, it had been used, it was used, it wasn't brand new. Uh, and now Victor, the main man, the modder himself, was actually, he saw that video. And um, so he contacted me and said, right, not happy send it back it's it's not it's not clean enough uh, so <laughs> i did i sent the mod back and um and it got refurbed and and it got updated to current specifications if you like and and i'll show you this it's this is it here okay now not only did i get this um I, I, I got a present as well, I, I, which was this, which I will show you off. This is a limited edition version and, and it's uh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so nice. Um, and, and we're going to keep going with the whole story thing. Now, I'm not an expert. When it comes to the voyeur, I, I, I'm not an expert. There are people out there that will be able to tell you everything about these mods to the ninth degree. I can give you limited information, but uh, the short and sweet version for you. Um, if you want to buy one of these, you would have to be in the Facebook group. You'd have to get into the Facebook group. Uh, you'd have to PM an admin, the modder, or something like that. Um, look out for lists that might appear on the MeWe group. It's, it's one of these ones where you you have to be in there. It's the only way to get one brand new as you have to be in there uh, being active in the group so so to a lot of people that might be a con because you cannot just go out and buy one you just can't um also this mod is coming to close to the end of its life cycle and that the, it's not going to be that much longer that they're made for um so that's something else to bear in mind price wise there's so many different versions uh, there are so many different versions that price-wise, I, I can't tell you. Um, I told you how much I paid second-hand and I got a tremendous deal. I mean, I think you were paying about brand new. I think you were paying about 460 euros, if uh, round about that. Uh, so it's not a cheap mod. Um, so it's, it's not going to be for everybody. It's not for everybody. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you mine up close. I might even take one to bits and let you have a good look at it. Uh, but what I will do is I'm going to put up a little video. It's about 50 seconds long. Um, Raj, the, the, the lad I was telling you about, um, he has several uh, different versions. Now, I'm not going to dive into all the different versions and get in deep and, and so on. But I, I, I asked Raj today if he would send me some photos over of some of his mods. I, I put them into this little video. And this is just to give you an example of the different custom finishes that are available because there are there's a lot so here you go
So here we go, Vulcan Designs. Um, and this is the box that they all come in. Now, what you will find is that uh, with the vast majority of them, if not all of them, they're, they're all going to come with custom messages inside the box and these are unique to the person that buys the mod. This was the message I got in the, the gift that uh, was sent on as well. So the, there's always going to be something and sometimes you get cool little uh, caricatures and things like that. But inside my one, uh, we did have a, an authenticity card here. One mod, I'll get that out of the way just now. It came with a bottle installed and you also get a spare bottle as well. Now, if I remember right, these are D bottles and these, I'm sure it's about 6.2, 6.5 mil these hold. It's round about there. Um, you do have a, a puller on the bottom here. So basically the way this works is, you know, it pushes in there, but uh, you can just pull it out. And I will do this today. I will do this. See, you can just pull it out like that and there we go and it just pushes back in that's it job done i will say for me and my my fat ass fingers i can't find it a, a problem sometimes sometimes i'm going to emphasize that sometimes getting the bottle in and out if you do have fat sausage fingers you will also see that the design of this is see how he's got a cut out here so you can actually you can pop something like the end of your tweezers in and just pop it out because you've got that little cutout going on in there. So that's a nice little design feature. It is a soft silicon and you can see here that we've got, pump, pull that out. That's how the fittings work. And you get in here little o-rings and spare tubes also. I do like the bottle system. I do like the bottle system. Uh, I haven't had any issues with mine at all. You know, like with the, say, pulling it out and this bit coming undone and staying inside it's it's all worked really well i have had no leaks on both of them i'm glad to say uh, the only thing i have found is that uh, i just have to make sure that you can unscrew this puller system at the bottom it was just to hold on to this section here and just make sure it was tightened up and once again i've had no issues it is a proprietary system there is that but uh, in the Facebook group, I think I've seen other people actually f use another bottle, the Cappy, uh, that gave them a bit more capacity, but you lost this, uh, the puller system on the bottom. Uh, but yes, you can check that out in the Facebook group. So the original one I had was like, it was completely smooth here. Now this is Delrin. This, this all round here, this part here is Delrin. And you can see that this is the this is the croc finish, if I remember right, and that is, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It really is nice. Now I think the top plates on my one here are anodized stainless steel. I know in different versions that he uses anodized aluminum, aluminium, however you want to say it. So so that's the top and bottom plates here could be stainless steel or aluminium. This body section here is Delrin. The tubes here, and this one is also engraved here. You can get carbon fiber ones, you get aluminium ones. There's Once again, there's many, many different versions out there. We do have a little insert round here. I'm pretty sure that this is aluminium, or was this brass? This little insert round here, it was anodized. Honestly can't remember, but once again, the, the experts will no doubt point this out and uh, the answers will be in the comments size wise it's about 75 millimeters in height 46 millimeters across and up the top here it's about 25 millimeters this really does suit a 22 mil atty it, it looks its best with a 22 in my opinion but just grabbing a skyfall here with a, a beauty ring on it so this is a 22 mil atty with a 24 mil uh, beauty ring on it you can see that that goes out just perfectly there does look really really nice i will say that the 510 it's a, a mod dog v2 510 that they use sorry i've got juice going on here uh, so you have to manually adjust this 510 it's actually a mosfet that's inside here and it's a dual mosfet bomber pro but i'll show you that a little bit more in a few seconds but it's three clicks on three clicks off there are no LEDs. Well, you will not see the LEDs from this board. Um, you just don't see them. Uh, I asked Victor why, and he said that he just doesn't like the look of the LEDs, and that's his prerogative, so you don't see the LED with this one. 
you do have all the usual safety features that you get with the Bomber Pro though. They do recommend that you only fire down to even though the board will fire lower, it does say that the recommended is 0 0.2. But anyway, uh, on the bottom we have the battery cap, uh, we have the V for Voyeur, and uh, we have your name here, and we're having a serial number here, and I've no issues with the battery cap, getting that on and off works very well, and I've had no issues with battery wraps, you know, having to being too thick the, sometimes that can be a bit of a pain with this i've had no issues at all uh, the positive goes down on this mod positive goes down please don't forget that and that is pretty much it now what i will do is well i'll pop this down here just now possibly the black and black is not the best example but i'm going to pop this beside a couple of other mosfets this is just to give you an idea on size uh, so pop that here pop that there these are also 18650 MOSFET mods. Just getting to try that line up. Hopefully get another one in there. So there we go. So it gives you an idea of the size. I always thought this was a lot, lot bigger than it actually is. Uh, I mean, EVM, we've got the Hellfire Cobra and the Game Over V3 there. And you can see yourself. Uh, the only thing is, this the, the bottle that is in here you know, it's only got that 6, 6.2 mil capacity. That's about the same as the Cobra, if I remember right. You can get a lot more in the EVM. But uh, yeah, we'll take these out of the way. What I'll do now is uh, I shall, I'm going to take it to bits and, and, and just let you see inside here. So we have two screws up the top here, two screws down the bottom. We'll rattle these out. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to pull off the bottom here. I've left the battery cap on. Uh, I'd already taken the bottle out. Take that to one side. So I can actually pull out the battery tube just now. And I can also pull out, if I so desire, this little guy here. Did I say it? that was brass? It is metal. Uh, maybe it's just painted brass. I'm sure I read it was brass somewhere. But uh, I'll put that to one side just now. You can see the contact running right down through the body here so that's running from the board right down through here and you know it kind of sits inside here then just going to pull the actual top out and that comes out like so and oh, my button just fell out there and then you can kind of see the the whole assembly so there's you know your bombers in here i don't know ah, and i should have asked somebody will tell me in the comments uh, i don't know if this is sealed or not uh, I don't know if this has been liquid proofed, uh, but um, yes, I don't know. Uh, so you can see all the soldering going on in there. You can see the wires running down through into the board. And that is pretty much it for the internals. There's the body, and uh, this bit does slide out as well. And your button just sits inside there. But I will say it's it's easy enough to get in about this. I mean, if you're one of these people that likes to keep on top of your mods and make sure that you know they, they stay clean and all the rest of it, that, yeah, that it's no big shakes getting this thing to bits and to making sure that everything's hunky dory. Uh, I'll just pull in my <laughs> my my precious, um, and you can see the difference in the designs here. Uh, these are brass up the top and bottom. This weighs an awful lot more, uh, this one. And just to let you see the difference in finishes, I mean, it's jaw-droppingly gorgeous. It really is. Um, very lucky man. Very, very lucky man. Uh, so so that, th those are my voyeurs. Vulcan Designs voyeur. Uh, uh, what can I tell you? Right, I'm not selling mine. This one that I bought and got refurbished, I'm keeping it um, because I really like these mods. Uh, I, I find them extremely comfortable. I love the fire button placement here. For me, uh, right-handed, it is just perfect. It, 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 bang on. Uh, it is small. It is comparable to a lot of other MOSFET squonkers that are out there size wise um, don't be deceived by the photos because once again I thought it was bigger than this before I actually got to hold one uh, it's the amount of finishes is insane I mean you get aluminium tubes carbon fiber tubes brass tubes um, engraved uh, different finishes on them 
anodized top caps, bottom caps, brass top caps, uh, stainless steel. Uh, the, the, just, you should have seen from the video that I showed you of the different ones that Raj has. There's so many out there. There really is. I don't think there's even such a thing as a base model anymore. It is one of these mods that and it's not for everybody. I'm going to say this. I'll be. I'll, this is. I don't know. This. This. This is a negative for some people. It's a con for some people. For others, it's not. Um, there is a community around these mods. Uh, there's a the whole family thing going on in the Facebook group. They are. I'm not going to say fanatical, but they have. Uh, Victor has a very very strong loyal following for his work. You might not like that. Me, I kind of like it. I don't get involved in it really, but um, I can see why people like these mods so much. Are they a million times better than any other MOSFET mods I own? No, not really. You know, they still put power to the 510 and I can still vape with them and jobs are good in. Uh, this is, is really about all the customization options that are available. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, I have my, my brass um, Haku on here. Uh, this is the Vena. And and this setup here just just sets my little heart all aflutter. I love it. And... Voltage drop for me on this is... It's just as good as my Hellfire and so on. It's I don't notice any drastic voltage drop with this mod at, at all. Uh, you've got the manual adjustment, the Mod Dog V2. You know you get a good solid contact in that. It's all good. I will also say here just now I did get and I did get. Hang on till I grab this. Uh, it's it's not a plug. I got this free with the mod that I bought second hand. Um, is that going to show up here? Please show up. There's a guy doing um, sleeves and presentation is absolutely gorgeous. But the sleeve itself, I'll just pop this mod in here just now. This isn't my, uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm not doing my usual kind of video here. I'm just grabbing stuff and showing you. Uh, but how nice is that with the sleeve? And, and look at the stitching on this. It's sublime. Um, He's got a Facebook group, uh, you'll find him, uh, Treasury Sleeves, and he does, this isn't a plug, I didn't get it free or any shit like that, uh, but he does lots of other sleeves, and they're, the one thing I did notice about this sleeve, and I'm going to comment on this, I don't know why, but I just feel I have to, with a lot of sleeves, you find that um, the leather inside is actually kind of rough, um, and it can over time, it can, with some mods, it can affect the finish in the mod. If you're taking the mod in and out all the time. I will say, this is baby smooth in here. It's baby smooth. Um, good sleeve. Very good sleeve. Um, right. What don't I like? There must be something I don't like about this. Right. I, I will say, once again, if you've got big fat arse fingers like me, sometimes pulling this bottle carrier system out of here can be a bit awkward. You can use a tool. I don't like recommending using tools for taking bottles and things out. You shouldn't have to, but it's not Victor's fault that I like eating McDonald's and steak pies all the time. So, yeah, it's my fault, not his fault. Uh, other things I don't, I wish I knew if the board was coated. Uh, I know I could coat it myself, uh, uh, but uh, you know, just getting some clear nail varnish and popping it over the board, that would solve it. But um, if you do know the answer to that one, Please put it in the comments for this video. Other things, um, me personally, and and I know this is this is modder's prerogative. Uh, Victor doesn't want flashy LEDs and all that kind of stuff going on, but I would have liked to have you know had that, an LED light behind this button here. You're not going to see it all the time because your your thumbs over the button, but you know you you have sh telling you if you've got a short. Um, you know, you get the, the lights clicking, you know, there's certain codes for the lights uh, that go with this MOSFET and, and I, I, me, personally, I would rather see them than not see them. That's just my opinion, however. I, and after that, I, that, that's just, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. 
once again you could say that the whole getting into the group actually getting a hold of one can be uh, not an easy process they're not cheap that's just the name of the game sometimes and uh, and that's what it takes to get these mods I'm jammy lucky very lucky that um, in the position I'm in I was able to send it back get it referred and, and I was given a gift of another one I'm very very lucky I, I, I know that I appreciate it and Victor I cannot thank you enough taking that out of the equation am I sorry that I bought one second hand no I would keep it no matter what no matter if it hadn't been referred no matter if I hadn't got one free hand on heart I would keep it I do and you enjoy using this mod it's no better no worse than any other MOSFET squonker out there but the customization the finishing on it and the the whole community thing is amazing if you can go and check it out I hope that wasn't too much of a gush fest and, and I did manage to get in a couple of things I see as potential cons for other people not necessarily cons for me because that's always important I should get that across uh, thank you to you as always for watching um, I can't thank Victor enough for sending on what he did um, you're an absolute bonkers dude and I love you for it uh, but until next time bye for now